Hello! Today is Thursday, July 23rd, 2015, day four of my follow-up Ponsa trip here, and had a lot of fun today. Did a lot of laughing. <laughs> um, yeah, Hansa, the Hansa Center is just a really, can be a really fun environment, and often is, um, depending on how you're feeling. Uh, some people are just really miserable and they can't really uh, socialize a lot and, you know, have headaches and just um, can't tolerate noise and things like that. But fortunate, well, I shouldn't say fortunately, <laughs> I have other symptoms I don't have. Uh, I mean, I do have headache issues, but not to the degree that it causes me typically to be unable to socialize and not while I've been here I've actually been feeling decent <laughs> so I think the daily massages are incredibly helpful for me because muscle tension and pain is such a huge problem so if every day of my life I could just get a massage maybe I'd feel okay but a better answer is to get well so that's what I'm working on <laughs> but um, I did have a lot of fun today um, just throughout the day laughing and fooling around, just joking around with different people and sharing funny life experiences. So I think that that just really adds to the experience. Laughter is the best medicine after all, right? <laughs> I'm going to bring up my notes here. All right. Oh, first I wanted to say that um, a couple days ago, well, actually, I think Monday and Tuesday I mentioned a music series called Whole Tones, and I found it in the Hansa. They have a little store. It's very small. There's um, actually have a lot of cool stuff in there for how small it is, but it's not like a big store store. Um, anyway, I went in there yesterday and discovered that they sell the Whole Tones, and it's a package with a book, and seven CDs. So here's the book. I read half this book last night. It is so wonderful. So I definitely recommend this. You also can check out the website. You can read a lot about the story. of. Here's the guy that wrote this stuff. And here Holtones.com is the website. So Check that out. Super awesome. Here's a pack of CDs. And I was listening to them last night. It's, um, to summarize, it's healing music. And it came about in a really cool way. And um, involved a, a lot of research of King David's music from the Bible. So very, very cool. I definitely recommend it. I think especially worship leaders and music lovers or um, musicians will particularly like it. So looking at my notes here quickly. Doo, 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 doo. I got yesterday they told me to be there at 10 today. So I got there at 10 <laughs> and then they said oh you don't have to be here till noon and that happens sometimes because I did I leave early yesterday? Might have been done a little bit early. Um, not sure exactly, I can't remember now. But basically the schedule changes a lot and just kind of have to be prepared for that. It does. It's fine during the day, it really kind of doesn't matter because now that I'm staying at a hotel that's not right next door, I just plan to be there all day anyway. So it doesn't matter if it gets switched around during the day, but the start time switch uh, can sometimes throw a monkey wrench into things. So I was there at 10 and they hadn't had my start time till noon and I said that was fine. I said if you have um, therapies and stuff that are available that I can do, I'll do them now, you know, if it's helpful for you guys, otherwise I'll just kind of hang out till noon and they said, ah, we'll get you going. So they actually kind of 
bing, bang, boom, got me through all the therapies. And then I had my doctor appointment at 1, and then I had a two-hour break between my doctor appointment and my massage. So the first thing I did was a foot bath, then I did the Lux, that was on my colon, and I had the Holy Harmonies sound therapy while I had the Lux. Then I had the sauna, and actually when I got in there today now, my stomach started feeling kind of weird. And, or not my stomach, my abdomen, <laughs> the colon, I'm sure, is what was bothering me because um, my doctor percussed it yesterday, I believe it was, and then today had the lux on it, just trying to break up some stuck stuff in there. And um, so then when I got in the sauna, my head and my eyes were kind of bothering me, which actually they kind of were earlier anyway. When I was in the foot bath, I noticed they were kind of bothering me, but I thought I was just tired, and that probably contributed to it. I was really tired today, so, and I haven't been the rest of the week. I mostly have been feeling pretty okay, but I was really tired today, and so I thought that's why my head and eyes hurt in the foot bath, but then when I got in the sauna and I was really, my head and eyes were just sensitive. I wouldn't really say they even hurt yet, <laughs> but they were sensitive. And then another uh, young woman came in to the sauna and so we were talking and then I really could feel my head and my eyes really bothering me. You know, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how many people have experienced this, but when you have just a really bad headache and how everything, and especially noise, just hurts. And it wasn't hurting my ears, it was literally hurting my head, because it was the front of my head and my eyes. And um, I actually wasn't sure I was going to make it through the sauna. I thought, well, I'm going to you know, stick it through as long as I can, but I wasn't going to push it to make myself sick or anything. So my stomach, it just, my stomach kept kind of being not well, not my stomach, but my abdomen, and then my head, it was kind of worsening slightly, but then all of a sudden, it was fine, I was better, and I was okay, so finished in the sauna, and then I did the power plate, I did that again for five minutes, standing, you know, sort of, with my, sort of crouching, <laughs> gotta bend your knees a little bit, and my upper legs, and actually today my lower back were really strained from doing that, uh, well, again, I wasn't sure. Yesterday, I wasn't sure I would make it. Today, I wasn't sure I'd make it through that, but I did, and it wasn't too terrible. Um, then I had the ST8 and the Valkyan, and then the ST8 today was all, I think it was today. I don't remember where it was. <laughs> it doesn't really matter. Um, and the, the Valkyan is the singlet oxygen that you breathe in. You do those at the same time. So in my doctor appointment today, I started just by sharing some of those minor issues that I just talked about, like feeling sick in the sauna and stuff like that, just to update them. Um, it gives them good feedback about what's how my body's responding. And then he said he wanted to do some more neural integration today, and it was really uh, kind of fun. We laughed a lot. It's it's not a game. It's it's serious testing and all that stuff, but. I have, excuse me, I have a bit of a childlike mind sometimes, and <laughs> so it kind of felt similar to a game, because um, basically what he's trying to do was find out if the different sides of my brain were working properly on their own, and then how they were working together, and um, that's why it's called neural integration, how the brain's working, and then how it's all, where all the parts are working together. So like the first test physical test that we did, I had to hold up, I think I started with my right hand, I had to hold up my left fist, touch my nose, and then he held his finger up. I was laying on a chiropractic table, so he held his finger up, and I had to touch his, my nose, his finger, my fist, then he would, and then back to my nose, and he would move his finger. So I had to keep going, my nose, his finger, my fist, nose, finger, fist, nose, finger, fist, you know, all over. And um, the right side, I had a little bit of challenge, like once, it seems really easy, but like when I'm doing it, 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 I was having a little bit of trouble. And then when I did the, then you switch, so you do the left, nose, finger, 
fist, almost finger fist, and I really had trouble with the left side, and so I was laughing quite a lot, and I said, I, I really feel like this should be easier. <laughs> so he kind of laughed, he's like, yeah, it should have been, and that, the reason it wasn't was because so different parts of my brain just weren't working the way they're supposed to, so took some one-time remedies for those things. There was some of it that I did really well on and others just not so much. A lot of the, because um, eventually I had to stand up um, and like balance on one foot and I wasn't like doing tricks or anything, but <laughs> like had to hold one foot in front of me and balance or, and then like have your eyes open while you do that, have your eyes closed sort of thing. And that kind of stuff was really hard for me and some of why it was hard was because my... Um, leg and ankle and feet muscles are weak from, you know, I, I have a lot of pain and especially being upright, so I don't get the amount of upright exercise that would keep my muscles strengthened. So, um, doctor said that probably played a partial role, but that, you know, it was quite obvious that my brain was just not quite doing exactly what it should be um, to integrate all the different tasks that it's supposed to do to perform those kinds of activities and it was um, checking um, things like ability to do plan tasks and then um, some number stuff not really doing math but like counting by twos counting by threes um, while doing something else or some more abstract things like coming up with different colored shapes and things like that um, and so some of it doing separately, then some of it doing together. Like at one point I had to be lifting up my left leg and my right arm. And then I think I had to count by threes or something. So it just like bring it all together um, to see how the brain's all working. And like I said, overall it wasn't too bad. And um, I did get a remedy today, but that actually wasn't that, that I brought home. He gave me several of the one-time remedies. Um, and then hmm, the remedy he gave me had to do with gut issues. I forget exactly. I know the gist of what we were looking at. It was basically looking at how issues of the gut are affecting the brain and the neural integration and I had some neuro um, not neurotoxic um, neurotransmitter deficiencies I believe is what he said it, it was neurotransmitter issues and I think it was deficiencies but it, that part doesn't matter I got um, a remedy for that and that should also help with sleep because neurotransmitters play a big role in sleep so that was I think that was pretty much all we did today. It was, <laughs> we laughed a lot because I just, there were, they were such simple tasks and I, I would think, I would laugh because I felt like I should be able to do these things um, and then I, I would think it was going to be really easy and then it wasn't always that easy. Some of them, like I said, some of them he said I did really well on. So that was, that was nice that I'm not totally... <laughs> totally gone neurologically. <laughs> so that was today. Let me check my notes here. Doo -doo -doo. Yeah. Then after my doctor appointment, I went in the back where there's kind of a, it's not a lobby, but it's more like where everybody kind of has downtime between uh, therapies and appointments and um, some people come with their loved ones, so they spend a lot of time back there. So there were a bunch of us back there for a couple hours, just around a table, uh, talking and laughing and being crazy. And it was really fun. I really enjoyed that. And then I had a massage. Most of it was a visceral massage, which I didn't ever have before. That's all in your, it's around your abdominal organs. And she worked um, the tender spots, worked a lot on the colon, and and then just saw just different tender spots. Like I had some on the liver and gallbladder, a little bit on my diaphragm. Um, she said that loosening all that up 
it like lengthened my abdomen because when we, when she first started she said I had a short abdomen but then after she kind of loosened all the muscles and everything um, and then the, the tissues around the organs and then had worked some of the organs um, it had relaxed and elongated and then when I flipped over she said she could tell that even my back had relaxed um, it was like a belt across my lower back that had relaxed a lot so that was that was good I, and so I said oh I wonder if that's a large part of my lower back pain I know it's not all of it because a lot of the lower back pain comes from tight glutes um, but anyway the abdominal tightness was certainly contributing to that. So, that's all I've got to say about today.